In this intro review, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about the software intro. If you have any questions, please be sure to comment them down below and I'll also be sure to leave a discount link down there so you can always get your money's worth for intro. Intro is a software where you can automate your scheduling processes from booking and billing to customer inquiries. So this is what you should see once you're first signing up to the software and then later on in the video, I will show the people who are logging in what the software actually does. So for the beginners, I'm going to quickly go through this section real quick. And then after that, we will get into the main areas and see all of the features. So once you've signed up, it should say the intro logo and then hi and then your name. Here is a 120 second video that covers all of the important stuff. I wanted to go through this just because it shows you a video of what the software actually does. And I think that's a really good feature that not a lot of softwares have these days. So as a beginner, you can go ahead and look through this really quickly and then click done once you've gone ahead and actually watched the video. So once you click done, it should then go ahead and say fill in the information about yourself and your experience. And then you can go ahead and connect all of these features. So once you've gone ahead and gone through all of that information, you can go ahead and edit the first service. So every time clients ask what time it is convenient for you to make a call or consultation, send them a link to this service after finishing this setup so you can edit it and create more services. So this is your service title. You can go ahead and change that, but we're gonna leave it the same. You can change your duration, price, currency, service description, location, title, and then what times you start and finish working. So I'm going to go ahead and just set the price, let's say £10, and change that to actual pounds. And then you can go ahead and change the description if you want, but we're going to leave it the same. Change your location. Well, let's just say we're going to do it on other. We'll keep it as that. And then you can say you start working at whatever time and whenever you actually finish working. So again, once you've done that, you can click save. Or even if you don't want to do any of this, you can click skip. And now once you have done that, you are now landed on the main page of the intro software. So now this is where any other people who have already logged into the software and set up that section can now join into the video. So I'm going to quickly go through each feature and then throughout the review, I'm going to dive deeper into each feature. So straight off the bat, up in the top left hand corner, we have the intro logo. To the right of that, we then have other sections like the feedback and blogs. And then all the way to the right, we have your account. So that's what is in this top bar up here. Probably would say this is the navigation bar where you can go ahead and navigate the software. But right here we have the other navigation which feature the actual features of the software like the services, the landing, the schedule and your reviews or whatever you actually done. So you can go ahead and copy the link to my page if you want to and then right here is where your services would actually be held. So you can go ahead and actually add a new service and as you can see the one we just created is always held here consultation for 30 minutes, automatically generated consultation, and then you can see the price we set and the minutes that was set. So you can copy the link and send it to anyone who's asking for your time, as easy as that once you've actually created your services or consultation. So we're gonna go ahead and click add new service again and go through the same areas, but pretty much just go more into the features this time. So again, you have your description, you have your service title, let's just name it reviews for the sake of this review. You have your service type. You can change it from a personal meeting one-on-one -on -one to a group meeting. We'll keep it as personal. Service description, you can go ahead and write that. We'll just write, tell me more. I just went ahead and wrote, tell me more about yourself because that is what the example had. And then you can go ahead and change the minimum time before booking, maximum booking time, price, currency, duration in minutes, and then go ahead and change the time zone and notifications and location. So we're going to go ahead and run through this now really quickly. So let's say we're changing the minimum time before booking. We'll change it to four or five. We'll change it to five hours. And then the maximum time, we'll go ahead and just change it to seven. I'm just writing in random numbers here. Price, we'll change that to 15 this time. Change the currency again to your currency or your personal currency. And then change the duration and go ahead and change all this. We'll keep that as other and then go ahead all the way down and click create service. You can also go ahead and change the availability if you have your Google Calendar linked, form fields and WhatsApp linked as well. We're gonna go ahead and click create service now. Next, moving on to the availability, we have the schedule shift section. You can also change the schedule of your shift and you can also change the dates and pretty much just see a little calendar here. We're gonna go ahead and click save as because it is pretty self-explanatory. You can go ahead and see what slots you have within your calendar. Next, you have your form fields. We don't have any fields added right now, so we're gonna go ahead and click new field. But if you do, you just go ahead and click save. Once you click new field, you can change the field name and the field ID, and then you can click whether it's required to complete. 
once you've done that you can click save and then finally you can move on to the whatsapp section where you can go ahead and change these features so on a new booking you can change whether you want to take a client or employee booking cancelled client or employee booking rescheduled one day reminder and one hour reminder so you can take or untake any one of these if you want to let's just take them all and then finally once you are happy with all of your settings that you have done for your services or schedule you can go ahead and click save and now it says service and successfully updated share with friends so we now have our second one created right here we have the first one we created at the beginning the second one that has a bit more details and all of them can go ahead and copy the link and send it to your person so now moving back up into the top area on the services we're going to go to the right and go on to the landing next so we're finished with the services section now all you have to do is go ahead and repeat the process for what type of consultation or services you want to offer again you just go ahead and repeat the process over and over again for how many times you want a service so moving on to the landing section once you click on that you can actually add a landing section on the software so it says by filling in more personal information you increase the chance of getting more bookings for your services so you can upload a photo here or even upload a cover image once you go ahead and do that it should appear there and then you can also change the services you provide and share your personal experience so i wrote in reviewer in the making because i'm doing a review i just went and wrote that in as a joke and then you can go ahead and say the desired page address you can go ahead and change that if you need to and then check whether it wants to be displayed on the reviews website once you are happy with all of the information and photos you uploaded on this section you can go ahead and click save now it says successfully save and i can just click ok moving on to the next section you can actually select a theme as well so again once your photos are uploaded they should appear like this but you can go ahead and change the background theme just select any one of these and then that's pretty much it for that section next you have your services these are the ones that we created the consultation for 30 minutes and the reviews one you can go ahead and add more or even just click any one of these and next we have the links you can go ahead and actually add a link as well how to change the link to the messenger or social networks you can go ahead and add that and then finally the messengers or even social networks you can go ahead and add one of them as well once you click add you can go ahead and add any social networks from facebook twitter LinkedIn, YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram, and messengers as well, like Skype, Telegram, and WhatsApp. Go ahead and log in and add any one of them, and it should add it to this section. So now all the way back at the top, once you are happy with all of the settings you inputted into the landing section, we're going to move on to the schedule section now. So on this section, it's pretty much just a schedule board where you can go ahead and see what you've booked and the past bookings as well. You can select the date if you actually have loads booked and go ahead and filter them or even fill them through a name, telephone or email once you write it in the search bar. They should all filter through right here like data and analytics and go ahead and actually appear once you've typed in the data. If you want to go ahead and book one, you go ahead and click this in the top right hand corner and click book and then you go ahead and add one of these bookings for your consultation or even the one you created. And that's pretty much it for the schedule section. Finally, moving on to the review section, you can see what you've actually published or even hidden and pretty much just see the reviews of what you've actually published. You can see any display settings if you want to, and you can go ahead and actually display the reviews on the website if you want to as well. You can check or uncheck that and click save when you've actually are happy with what settings you have put in. And that's pretty much it for this software. And there you go, that is it for the intro software review. There's a couple of features on there that I personally like, and those features is how easy and simplistic the software actually is. If you look at the software, the landing page and the layout, you can go ahead and see that there's not much going on. So for beginners, you can go ahead and dive straight into it. A few other features I like is how easy it is to actually create your services and consultations, and you can go ahead and actually see your schedule easily as well. Would I recommend this to anyone? Yes, I absolutely would. Anyone who's looking for a software like this, this is probably one I would choose for them. But there's also a lot of other softwares out there that can manage services like this. So there is a lot to compete for. Would I use this myself? Yes, I would. Again, it's pretty straightforward and easy to use. So I would use this myself. Overall, I think it's a great software. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.